In this video, I will provide you with a few construction methods that can be used to extend the length of a load bearing beam. Now, the first thing I want to point out is I've seen a lot of things on YouTube and uh, over the years on the internet that are not going to work or um, should I say won't be as effective or even approved by a structural engineer. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with our first example. And of course, it will be the most common, and that would be to remove and replace the beam with a longer one. And of course, this uh, a project like this is usually going to require a structural engineer. Now, I'm not going to go into details on how to remove and replace the beam, but uh, I am planning on making a video in the future and we'll put a link here to that when that video is completed. In the next example we're simply adding another beam with a post supported with a concrete footing and you're probably going to need a strap and you can see here where we cut some of the beam back so that our new beam could sit on top of the load bearing wall and you can see here where we have a post the load is transferring down to a footing so this would be another option here. If you need it to cantilever for whatever reason, then you're probably going to end up uh, replacing the beam. But there is another option also, and that would simply be to install another beam next to the existing beam. Now I removed the soil because this is probably going to require some additional concrete footing work here. And um, the reason why I'm saying that is you can see here where the beam here and the post kind of centers in this footing. So this was designed for this and uh, the footing accordingly. So I don't know if you would need to make it wider. I don't know if the footing would need to be wider, um, deeper. Um, that would be up to the engineer. But you can see here where it is no longer centered. But at the same time, how much weight is this beam going to be supporting? This beam here is supporting the floor. If you're just going to have a beam coming out here and supporting another section of the floor, you could see where it's not going to be dealing with as much weight and might not need um, to have any additional work done to the footing. So just kind of throwing that out there. And of course, this beam could be installed on either side. It just would be easier to install it on this side, obviously. Um, if you're going to install it on this side, um, that would kind of be uh, defeat the purpose. Just replace this beam here with a different beam. And of course, you might be able to install a beam underneath the existing beam to get the cantilever that you want. So how much work would be involved in all of these? That would depend upon the um, weight that the beam is supporting. And, uh, you know, here I have a 6 by 10. You know, if you're trying to extend a glue lamb beam that is, you know, um, 24 inches deep and 8 inches wide, um, this is might be a... Uh, Totally different uh, scenario here. Or, I mean, you have something that's supporting a lot of weight. I mean, I've seen garage headers, uh, maybe a three-car garage, and these headers are, you know, they're 20 inches by 6 inches or 8 inches, something like that. And um, they're holding up the second-story roof. They're holding up the, f the floor on the second story. And uh, it's going to be a lot of weight, and it's not going to be something easy to do. So I just kind of want to throw one more thing out in this video. And that would be the fact that this is not going to be an easy job to do. Uh, and to, point to, to just kind of clarify things, uh, I was the guy that they would call to do stuff like this. And there were a lot of people that I worked with who they might be experienced at doing certain things, but uh, replacing a beam like this, with a lot of weight above, um, you've got to really know what you're doing. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. If you think, hey, I'm just going to go in and do it. I've watched a couple of Greg's videos and uh, I got enough confidence to do it. That just might not be enough to uh, 
to do something like this. And when I say that, if you're just going to put another beam next to this one, yes, do it yourselfers can do it. You're going to put a beam underneath this beam or replace this beam. No, get somebody who knows what they're doing or get as much information as you possibly can on how to support the um, all of the other framing members so that it can be done safely.